welcome back. My name is Sandra and I work for the Boys and Girls Club of LA Harbor. And this week, we're going to explore the creative life of Vincent Van Gogh. In honor of Van Gogh and his amazing creative life, we're going to make a happy sunflower. Okay, look. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do this together. And you see your beautiful sunflower? You can actually have uh, two faces. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. Let's begin. You need a con yellow construction paper or white paper, your hand, pencil, and eraser, and scissor. You should use this kind. I'm gonna use a Sharpie, but you can use a regular marker. Watercolor. Let's begin. To get the hands, either if you don't have a yellow paper, you can always paint that paper. We need watercolor. You can use food coloring, but you always need to ask, okay? Um, but that's another way to paint. And it, it might smell like, like different fruits. <laughs> And if in case you don't have a narrow days, don't worry about it. You can always use markers. And this will be the two colors that you need, yellow and orange. As you see, there is many ways that you can do this. Van Van Gogh is from the Netherlands. He's a Dutch artist. He didn't start painting when he was a little kid. He was able to talk in French dash and English. Added a yellow paint, but we need a little bit of uh, orange to make it more rich. And then the other way is this one. Then you're going to trace your hand or you can ask someone uh, to help you. Then you're gonna cut He painted it during um, during three years. He painted 30 portraits. Portraits. If you do the math, it means that he painted himself 10 times per year. Isn't that amazing? But let's go back to the happy sunflower. Now that we have cut the enough, enough hands, I pre-cut already enough. This is more than enough, okay? Uh, on yellow, we also need what? The, the, the leaf. Mm -hmm. For this, we need the same, we need green. Now, also you need two small paper plates. Then once we have our plates paint, like I did here, we're need, gonna need glue. This is where we go to the part that is white. We'll be sure that the hands are going to be glued. Okay, now, this is important, my little friends, that you need to glue this, not starting from the uh, center, because if you do that, look, then look how little these are gonna look. Put your little hands underneath this line, you see? And we're gonna start with one here on the top, one on the bottom, straight, and then the other one on the other side, the opposite side. And then we're gonna go on the other side. Sorry, he made many, many uh, drawings of uh, sunflowers. He loved them. How do they move? Uh, when the wind touch them, they so he pain. We need a long stick. If you notice, this is a, a, a natural branch. Mm -hmm. I have one here. Yeah. Now that we have, uh, whenever you have time, you can go to the park or you can go, uh, some of you might have a tree in a house. You can find for a, 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 a branch that is, um, that is already dry, and that look that it will be good for your stick. Mm -hmm. If you don't have this, you can always go to the store and buy cheap 
long sticks like this one. Uh -huh. This one is thick, this one actually is perfect. We're gonna use this one today. Mm -hmm. But then if you don't, you're gonna find these sticks also. But because they're thin, they're easy to break. Then uh, my recommendation is to get two of these and with your little hands, ask permission or someone can help you to type it around. You see? Voila. Easy. You got it. Mm -hmm. Then something that I forgot to do, but because it's still the glue, the glue is fresh. You need to glue this inside the plate. So underneath, on one of the sizes, okay? Uh -huh. yeah. See, isn't it? Good. Now, I also told you that you can do the eyes. Is it said to you? Mm -hmm. Personally, but because I love to give you uh, a different ideas how to do art, I like to do my eyes. And for that, we're going to recall the shapes. What kind of shape is this? An oval, okay? And this a circle, you see? Then for the chicks, then what I did, I'm gonna use the Sharpie. You guys, use a pencil, please. In case that you, because you might not like how it looks, then you can just fix it. I grab a uh, piece of paper, I fold it, and then I'm going to do the circle for the chicks. Another thing that I remember that I did with you guys is to, uh, I use a coin. You can use a 25 cents coin, so you can do the chicks. Mm -hmm. I just did it. Then also here inside, I'm going to do my eyeball, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put a little bit, a small thing like a highlight with this one. I still need to do the other one. Then what I'm going to do here, I just again, cut it around, do your best to cut the eye. Uh-huh. The, the eye around, upside the line. So that way it won't be too small. Practice, practice. And don't feel bad if it doesn't look the way that you want it to. Huh? Here. Now here, I'm gonna repeat the same thing. I'm gonna go around. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, you got it. Then we're going to use um, glue. We're going to use this, this glue. Uh, remember not to squeeze too much, just a little bit. And then we're going to glue these eyes. I haven't colored it yet inside the eyeball because you guys will be the ones to choose what color do you want the eyeball to be. I did it black here, but it doesn't mean that it has to be. But I also, um, I'm forgetting something. The nose and the mouth. Oh, and the chip right here. Mm -hmm. Then, again, I got the circle. I like to use my fingers to spread the, to spread the glue. It works for me. Then I have my apron. I can always clean it. Or if you have a napkin, you can do it. Uh -huh. Like that. Look, I didn't also color this because I want you to color the the way you want it. Mm -hmm. Also, if you want to put some freckles, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. If uh, you guys want to do what? What is this? Eyelashes. You can also do it. Remember, this is your happy sunflower. Mm -hmm. With this, it's moving. 
So I gotta tell you something. If you the stick is still moving after you you have put enough glue, mm -hmm, you see, it is still moving. No biggie. You need a piece of tape. Uh huh. Just to secure. This will give time to the glue to to stick to work. We gotta give time to glue sometimes. We need to be patient. And then we also need to help the glue. Okay? Then while it's getting dry, we're gonna work on the hands. We have our hands over here. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna do repeat the same thing. Then we're gonna do, we're gonna place a hand in one side and a piece of tape. And we're gonna round it around. Uh -huh. Look, it's, it's important that our little hand do not move. But if it is moving, you just add tape. Mm -hmm. Like that. Very simple. But you can also ask help. Remember, asking for help, it is no wrong. Actually, it's good. And then invite your parents to be part of your project so you guys can do, you can create together and have more fun as you're doing, as you're doing this. You see? Easy, isn't it? Now here, now we want to make this hands, this little uh, leaf much better. We find, uh, I need you to uh, find a green marker. I want you to put attention. I'm not gonna use a stray. I wanna use a tilted because I wanna take advantage of this part. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna go like this, you see? I wanna show the thickness, yeah, of the marker. Uh -huh. And then we're creating the banks of the, the vines of the, the leaf. The same thing, we're gonna do it with the hands. Is one, two, three. Just do it quick. Don't think too much. Just go. Mm -hmm. One straight line, and the other two, they go curvy. Uh huh. You see? And before we go, I have to say that thanks to this amazing artist, we have most of the most wonderful and beautiful uh, artwork in museums. There is a museum in, um, in Amsterdam on his name. And unfortunately, he didn't make a lot of money while he was alive. And the, a lot of people didn't recognize his talent. But without him, we probably wouldn't have uh, this amazing work. Then the something that I can tell you is that follow, follow your passion, follow your dreams, and everything is possible. And sometimes people might don't like what you do, but you just need to continue doing it if that's your passion. Then so, this is today's lessons, little ones. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. And also, I have this wonderful book that I would like to recommend you. Um, and it's based on Van Gogh's Some Flowers. You can find it on YouTube. I have um, listened to it and read it, and uh, I love it. It's amazing. Uh, this is another one. It's uh, K and the Starry Nine. It's another book. And this is also cake. It's the same uh, little girl, but just watch it, really. I do love it. Uh, you will have so much fun uh, listening and um, seeing the video, okay? Then so, like I keep telling you, uh, I hope you like your project. Please like us, subscribe us. Uh, email me your opinions, tell me what do you think, send me a photo of your projects, 
and um, and I will see you next week. Bye bye.